with forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and three gigs of data for just $44.99, or with five gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. This past weekend, hunters who were drawn for a bull elk firearm tag made their way into eastern Kentucky. According to officials with the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, more than 50,000 applications were submitted by hopeful hunters for just over 900 elk tags. And only 150 of those were for a bull firearm tag, making it one of the most coveted tags in North America. Officers with Fish and Wildlife are out in force this week, making sure those hunters have the best experience possible. We'll make sure everybody's getting a good opportunity at a bull, and uh, we are definitely going to be visible and be seen during bull firearm season. And although applications are submitted from across the country, Kentucky residents hoping for an elk tag have a much better chance of being drawn. No more than 10% of the tags can go to non-residents. It might be 7%, it might be 8%, but once 10% gets met, every non-resident gets pulled out if you're not from the state of Kentucky. Elk applications go on sale each year on January the 1st and are available online. The drawing is held in May, giving hunters a few months to locate property to hunt on and make arrangements. And most consider being drawn for a Kentucky elk tag a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But once in a while, you'll run across someone fortunate to have been drawn twice, like this hunter from northern Kentucky. That's just unbelievable. You don't expect to do this once in your lifetime, you know, much less uh, have the opportunity to do it twice. But it's unbelievable. It's just uh, the people around here is what really makes it, you know. Kentucky's elk herd is approximately 10,000 animals and is the largest of any state east of the Mississippi River. Reporting in Pike County for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.